reimagining downtown Detroit. The mission to not only make the Motor City more beautiful, but to show off some unrecognized talents in our city. Boarded up, vacant buildings can really become eyesores in our neighborhoods. Yeah, but when the city puts those nuisance buildings into the hands of local artists, magic can happen. And we're seeing just how some local artists are once again turning blight into beauty on Detroit's east side as the community unveiled the 200th mural under Detroit City Walls Initiative. Their painted walls tell a story. Everything that is a part of Jefferson Chalmers, this area of Detroit is on that wall. This wall on East Jefferson is where Detroit artist Nicole McDonald used a rundown blighted building as a canvas, capturing images of some local community leaders in a mural. These people have contributed a large part of their life to bettering the community, bettering the land, restoring the environment. McDonald's mural highlights people like Tammy Black, <laughs> who's raising awareness about solar energy on Detroit's east side. I'm numb to, to, to see myself on the wall for doing things that I love to do. The painting features a few of the folks who are making and shaping this community. Tom Alano and his wife Nancy repurposed vacant land into a cut flower farm in the area. There's a renaissance going on in the city and from my perspective it's not just what's happening on the surface it's us coming to understand just how much we're all family, absolute equals. The environmental message in this mural is deeper. Wayne Curtis and his wife operate a community garden. It's like we went through a war uh, of unemployment, uh, schools closing, neighborhoods closing. So the rebuilding of our neighborhoods is vitally important. This new mural is the 200th work in Detroit City Walls Initiative. That program gives local artists the opportunity to beautify places that have long been neglected. Bethany Howard is City Walls project manager. We're putting them everywhere. So if we have community members who are building owners and who happen to be Detroit residents, we thrive on those wall donations that we receive. Some say murals like this can help give neighborhoods a splash of good energy. You know what? I think that art brings things to life and this blighted building needed life. And that's what art does. And it's happening all around the city. And that I'm sorry, I'm like Jefferson stunned Chalmers. by this. I'm just, it's so beautiful. Yeah, you I'm know, sorry, that mural you know, is so nice. right? And I'm, I like the fact that it captured so many people in the community to help share the story of that community. Well, I like that because you can see Tammy with the solar panel. You saw Wayne and it's just like you can, it tells a story. Yeah, and really they were does. so intentional about the leaders that they chose to yeah. uh, feature on that mural. I got to tell you that uh, City Walls is looking for new artists. They have projects coming up in uh, Thanksgiving okay. and Valentine's Day. The organizers say you can find out more information by going to City Walls Detroit on Instagram. But yeah, look around Detroit. Nice it's stuff. number four in city murals right now across the country, okay. and they want to make it number one. I think we can do it. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Juan. Yeah.